Jerry, so nice to meet you. This is an honor to chat with you today. How are you? Great, Lauren. How are you doing today? Good. I absolutely loved this film. I happy cried throughout, and I can't wait to bring my mom to see it. So congratulations to you, first of all. Well, thanks, Lauren. I appreciate it, and hope you'll tell a lot of other people to go see it, because it's a, it's a great ride. It really is about a character you've never heard of before, and, and created these, accompl accomplished these amazing things against every obstacle possible. And it's an inspirational story for women and men. When we tested the movie, and it's the highest tested movie I've ever made, it was wow. across the board. Women were 100% excellent, and men were 97. So we get you both. It's, so, it's <laughs> great. I think what drew me to the story is the fact I'd never heard of her. And she accomplished these great things. And I felt the world should know who this young woman was. We, we like to educate and entertain. We did it with, with Remember the Titans. We did it with Glory Road. We did it with Black Hawk Down and Dangerous Minds. They were all characters that you've never heard of, but you'll never forget them now because uh, the cinema brings it to the forefront of what, what they've accomplished. And I think Trudy accomplished something that is hard to believe in that period of time. And when you see the parade at the end, you can't believe it's real. You can't. You see it, yet you know it's newsreel footage from the time, but it's, it's, it's pretty amazing that she captured the world at a time when there was only radio and there was only print. There was no internet. There was no television. Uh, so it's, 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 it's an inspiration for every young woman or anybody to overcome obstacles and achieve your goals. Yeah, absolutely. And I love the scenes in the film where you can actually see how the news traveled, yeah. how crazy it was how the news traveled in the 1920s where the reporters were on the boat putting it in the bottle, putting it in the water, and then it got, got to the radio. Talk about kind of showcasing that and how news travels, because now we hear about someone doing something amazing, an athlete, anyone, and it's instant, but here it was like a whole process, and then the, again, like you said, the world kind of learned to love the story. She was like a worldwide phenomenon. Yeah, I think that we tried to portray the period the way it really was and, and show how, how communications were done in those days and, and to be true to the period and be true to what really happened and true to those characters. And, you know, the fact that, that she was somebody that you never heard of and now you do. And I, I think it's not only do you want to take your mom, uh, a lot of they want to take their kids. They want to, you, you, it's, a, it's a movie that moves you. It moves you emotionally. We transport you from one place to another. You walk out of the theater you feel better. It's, it's, it's two hours we take you away from the world around you, and that's what we try to do as, as filmmakers. Yeah, and it looks so gorgeous on the big screen, too. Yeah. The cinematography of the ocean looks stunning. I have to say I'm a huge fan of Armageddon. It's one of oh, my go-to favorite comfort movies. I had the biggest poster of Ben Affleck from Armageddon on my childhood bedroom wall. I still have it at my dad's house. I'm honestly just curious for you, what are some of your favorite memories working on that film? Yeah, I think, you know, what, just working with Ben and Bruce was a, was a great honor to be, to be a part of of that period of time and working with those amazing actors. And there, there was so much fun. Bruce was just uh, uh, such a great inspirational force and fun to work with. Uh, he t took care of the crew. He had, he had these jackpots. He put like $5,000 in a pot and uh, the crew had to draw for it. Uh, so every crew member every week, uh, you know, got a nice kitty. Uh, so it just, you think about how generous Bruce was and, and Ben was just a blast to work with. He's a, not only is he, He's a terrific actor. He's become a great director, and he's always a good writer. So uh, I'm, I'm so thrilled for him. Yeah, no, I love that. Thank you for sharing that. I love Armageddon and so yeah. many of your films. I'm so excited for audiences to see this one, Young Woman in the Sea, when it's out in theaters later this month. Jerry, this was an honor, and again, congratulations. Thank to you. you. Also, got a, we got Beverly Hills Cop coming out in Bad Boys. Bad Boys. Yeah, but I'm, I'm so excited for Bad yeah. Boys. I, bad, I went to the Bad Boys premiere January 2020. It was my last big premiere before the pandemic. It was I had so much fun with it. And yes, I'm so excited for uh, Beverly Hills with Eddie Murphy on yeah. Netflix. I'm so excited you're producing both of those. Yeah, they're, they're going to be you're going to have a good time with both of them. I promise you. Oh, I can't I can't wait to see them. Yeah. OK, good. <laughs> bye, Jerry. Thanks for bye. being with us.